Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Gaming. I'm the Hand of the King. Today we're doing another First Impressions. Today we're looking at The Fabled Woods, a narrative short story game. Uh, I'm told it takes 90 to 120 minutes to finish. Uh, it looked right up my alley, so I did want to try it out. Thanks for the developer for a key. We're checking it out today, and it comes out on Steam today. So if you like what you see, Check it out on Steam. I believe you also get a digital art book with it. When you buy the game, it's like 14 bucks total. So that's pretty nice. And I think you get the soundtrack too, actually. So all three things, the game, the art book, and the soundtrack for 1444. There you go. All right, here we go. Cyber Punch Studios presents. I don't know if there's voice acting in this. It'd be nice on my voice if there was, but if not, I'll be reading everything. So please sit back, relax, and check out The Fable Woods with me. All right, there's voice acting. Been so long since I've had company. Oh, it's you. It's you. What a surprise. Not a lot of other folks come and visit these parts. I should have known. You should already know me, but just in case, my name's Larry. Larry. He's here to be closer to my son, William. William. Every time I came back to these woods, I could feel him again. Oh. If only I could tell him how sorry I am. Oh. That's enough about me. He's I'm dead. Here for you. Sorry. These woods hold the answers to your questions. Beautiful game. Everything will be explained soon. And this time, please pay attention. What are you trying to say? I paid attention last time. Whenever, whenever that was. Anyway, beautiful game. Great atmosphere. You can hear the birds chirping, the river flowing. This little waterfall. It's incredible. Let's see if we can find Larry. Can we skip stones? Skip stones? No? Okay. Alright. Larry, maybe he's got a cabin out here. I'm not sure. But I can tell you what, I'm already feeling very relaxed. And serene. Beyond comparison. Alright, here's a fallen uh, bridge. Might have gone somewhere. Or maybe it was just a dock for fishing. Here's a tent and a fence. So let's check it out. All right, we got a backpack. We're uh, it's an Ashley backpack, pretty famous. We got a lantern that we can't interact with. Tent, some rope, decagon, lunchbox, campfire, a bench, another backpack. Inconspicuous enough. I guess we can't open it because they haven't told us how to, but it's nice it exists. Alright, so just two backpacks, two chairs, so probably just two people were here cooking something, drinking something, we're not sure yet. A couple lighters in the fire, doesn't seem safe, but you know what, maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe we can duck under uh, this tree here? No? Perfect. All right, Larry. Larry, where are you? All right, not over there. Wow. Amazing graphics. Oh, here we go. Hold space to remember. Uh-oh. Follow the clues. Achievement unlocked. Why do my eyes hurt? Oh, my God. What just happened? All right, we got to hold space to... Uh, Follow the clues. Is this a clue? Or is it sunlight? I don't even know. Follow the clues. We're trying, man. We're trying. Okay, the lantern's already knocked over. I'm trying to follow the clues, I promise. This reminds me of... Uh, King played one of the Blair Witch games, where you could like travel back in time and look at stuff differently, I think. Or some game where he did that, I don't know. Alright, I don't know what a clue looks like, I'll be honest. Unless it's literally the stuff on the ground. Where'd it go? It's gone. Do we get a look at the backpack? Is that a clue? No. Okay. But it did appear when we got here to the fire. 
So my guess is the clue is around here. Let's take another look from this angle. Alright, the juice spilled over. Fire's not on fire. This... Is it a light or is it a shadow? Like, negative. I don't know. Okay, now it's gone. Is there another one? Yeah, they said this game's between 90 and 120 minutes. I can make it last 500 minutes. I'm dumb as a stick. Are we following this thing? I think we're following it. Alright, let's keep going this way. Alright, we're still following it. I hope. Okay, we're, we're upon a clearing. Soon. Let's see what's going on over here. Back at the uh, river. Let's go over that bridge. Maybe the maybe the dock that fell in. Maybe we can remember it being not fallen in. We can cross it. That was right here, right? Well, doesn't look like it. Follow the clues. Yeah, I get that. I get the clues. There's the guy, or the shadow. You gotta hit space for each time you want the uh, the red vision, which I guess I get. But if I'm not finding the clue, don't take me out of the vision. You know what I'm saying? All right, I think we've officially backtracked too much. All right, let's try and find that dock again. That might be the key to everything here. What the heck? Is that an effect in the sky, or am I just crazy? Oh, now it's all gone. All right. I'm just crazy. Wait a minute, this is the bridge. Okay, so the bridge was broken in the... in the remember state. The bridge changes... in the red vision. Let's hop around, let's look for something else. Right, I'd really like it if the red vision would just, like, stay. But I guess then it'd be overpowered. It's this thing. Oh. This rock was a clue. Of course. Okay, we've ascended into heaven. Oh no. Oh, we're in the bad place. Alright, there seems to be a uh, little walk here in anti-gravity. Okay, shh. Yeah, I'm happy too. It's very peaceful here. In, uh, heck. Oh look, there's our campsite. And a flashlight that's just floating there. Oh my god, it's covered in blood. It's terrible. Alright, and here's the campfire with the chairs. Pretty standard stuff. We're walking into the sun, as one does, you know. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Oh my gosh, what is this dripping, dripping mass? Uh oh. Looks like an unnamed third party has costed the, uh, campers. Maybe with a rock. Unfortunate. A new path awaits. Achievement unlocked. Campsite. Okay, maybe that one log isn't past the tent anymore? Or it isn't blocking the path past the campfire? You guys know what I'm saying. Let's check it out. Are we a private investigator? No, wait, we're remembering. So which one are we? The There was a woman for sure. Oh, look at that, the blood stains. That's what we were looking at, blood stains. Oh, everything's all in disarray. And yeah, okay, this is the trail that opened. Nice. Let's see what's next on our trail through Happy Town. Suddenly I don't feel so serene. Boom. Let's check some stuff out. 
Alright, looks pretty normal to me. Very strange uh, eyesight I have by remembering in red, but you know what? It's okay. Ooh, here's a... Larry. Alright. There's another bridge. Are they both real? In Remembered Town? They are. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so maybe we repeat the first gameplay loop a bit, go to a dead end, then remember and find an important item. I'm intrigued with the story already, so that's pretty good. looking for... Are we looking for Larry? Or are we Larry? I don't even know anymore. There, here's something interesting up ahead. Another cooler. Uh-huh, another Decagon cooler. Oh, an axe. William's axe. William's axe. <sighs> I remember taking him to town, letting him choose his first axe. Once we got back to the cabin, he couldn't stop trying to cut down every tree in the woods. There'd be nights it would get so quiet, all mm. you'd hear are the birds and the sound of that axe like a heartbeat outside. Alright. Does it have a memory attached to it? No. 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 Alright, uh, I guess we can keep going forward then. William's Axe, good to know it's still out here. Oh, it's a log. Which way do we go? This way, perhaps. Oh, looks like somebody was busy with the axe for sure. There's just a bunch of stumps. Please, uh, please de-stump if you're gonna deforest. It's just more, uh, natural trash otherwise. No offense. Only you can prevent stump fires. Alright, let's check out what's down here. Give it a look. Alright, nothing too uh nothing too bad. Some weird shadows on that tree, probably haunted. But this game isn't about trees. I think. Actually it's called the Fabled Woods, so maybe it is about trees. Now that you mention it. Is this the bridge we saw from the other bridge? That it is. Would you look at that? Okay. Let's keep on going. We got a boat or something down here. Nope, just rocks in a weird shape. Any more rocks to remember? No, no, no. Okay. There's a nice pathway. Ooh, a cabin in the woods. Trademark. Here we go. Oh my gosh. All right, could be anything in here. Could even be a uh, mail. Interesting. All right, it's locked. It's fine. Oh, here's something by the. There's a campfire. There's some oil. Fire brings people together out here. You understand? When the chores around the cabin were done, William would always beg to get a fire going by the river. Of course, it always started out as a much larger fire than we needed for our little pit. Nothing to distract you. No worries, guilt. We were at peace with the world. See, there's pretty good tree uh, zoning here. Ten feet above, ten feet to left and right. Uh, no trees. That's fire safety at its peak, if I had to say. So good job, Larry, William, and uh, everybody that made the fire. You did it very safely. Thank you for that. It's glowing back here. Very strange. All right, let's see if we can get any memories off the cabin. Oh my god. There's a big X. Alright, let's check for memories here. Nothing glowing too uh, suspiciously. So I think it looks like we can move on in this direction. 
towards this yellow uh, something. Let's check it out. Oh, and there's a staircase and a hammock with this is where it all port ends. wine. This is where I drunkenly fell asleep and failed to protect my boy, William. Oh. Because of me, he drowned. Oh no. I should have been there to protect him. It's pretty but sad. I cared more about the bottle. Well, then you're a very selfish person. Sorry, Larry. There's a football. It's probably just going to make people sad. And a kayak. Why would you go kayaking if you couldn't even be responsible for your own child? All right, let's see if there's a glowy rock again or something. Mm, not exactly. Nope. Okay. Moving on. Is this potato chips? Just kidding. Have you ever found yourself feeling like you're being watched? I decided to go to the lake and catch some fish for dinner one night. I had caught a couple, and I got this sense that something was watching me. I know bears roam these parts, but this was not a bear. I could feel it across the lake staring at me. I got up, reeled the line in, grabbed the fish, and went inside. Never felt like that before. Interesting. Well, we use the abandoned cabin key, and there's already the something to remember. So empty without William, but it's held up well over the years. Hey, give me that flashlight. What? I'm gonna leave it there. That's a flashlight, man. It'd be good stuff. What the heck is this? Walkie-talkie, scissors. That one's on the ground forever now. What do we got here? More malt liquor. Damn, son. A couple Marlboros. How many flashlights do you need? Jeez. This one looks special. Nope. Just old Johnny Walker. William. Dad. Oh my god. He's fishing. He's got the football. Dad's literally holding the beer bottle. Wow, yeah, I'd probably just kill myself after that. But this guy had to stay in the world and be pretty selfish. What's this? Chloroform? Why is somebody bringing chemicals out here to the woods. That bottle you're looking at is what started this whole mess. That's when I knew I wasn't alone. Turns out mine wasn't the only cabin out here anymore. But next to that cabin, though, was a cage. But it wasn't empty. And it weren't no bear. It had fur, gray and black. Like a wolf. Who's Hank? But it also had skin, rough, like a man. I couldn't make sense of what I was seeing. I grabbed this bottle, hoping I could bring it to the police. Maybe then they would believe me. Okay, there's a note here from Hank, and Hank was playing in a uh, guardhouse or a treehouse or something. I'm sure there's some lore there that I don't know. It would just make me sad. Found a spare room key, so let's check it out. Spare room. It looks like a pretty lived-in room, if you ask me. Let's see. We got drinks. Secret reserve. Larry, you need help, man. That's all I'm going to say. Little uh, typewriter action going on. Can't really click it, it seems. Maybe we can remember it. Oh my god. That's all blood. And this thing. It also sounds like there's a large animal somewhere. I don't know. Let's see what this memory has to offer. Okay. Are we walking along another thin path in hell? Why can't I have peace? Large cage. Very strange. Pretty scary uh, atmosphere going on right now. Oh. Well, I'm glad it stopped blinking. Now we can get a good look at trees and cages. Not even sure. Uh, that's one big cage. I miss him so much. That makes sense.
Alright, we're walking towards a cabin. Looks pretty familiar if you ask me. Let's check it out. Why don't you let me leave this place? Okay. Dun dun dun. Is this what we're looking at? It's all lit up. No? Okay. Is there stuff in the dream cabinets? Not exactly. No note from Hank. Alright, we gotta head back to the drawing room. Uh oh. Very bright. <laughs> that machete was no use. I should have left this place when I found that cabin. I knew what I felt wasn't right. I just didn't know that night would be my last. I didn't uh -oh. know what it was, but what I saw in that cage had come for me. Whoever made that thing must have known I went to the police. This is where my story ends, drunk and scared in a corner. Is this how William felt? Alone and scared. <sighs> Your story carries on. You must learn the tales of these woods. They are what's holding us back. We all live with our actions. Our consequences, but do you go now? There is someone else who would like to see you. A new path awaits, Larry. I think you're still drunk, or apparently you're dead, which doesn't make sense to me. But okay, apparently, we're waiting for a new person to talk to us. I don't even know what that means. And now, the stair it was broken before, now it's complete. We can head up and meet somebody new, it looks like. I don't want to go too more deep, too much more deep in the first impressions here. I'm enjoying it. It's a very strange story, but I like it. Strange doesn't mean bad. Also, it's very sad a child died for this. You're back? Uh oh. Again. Oh, there's a woman. I guess we'll start where we always do. Okay. I'm Sarah. Well, nice to meet you. I came out to these woods to get away. Okay. Much like Larry. Larry? No, Larry. Well, I didn't lose a son. I did take one away. You see, I'm a forensic archaeologist. Forensic? I dig up bones for a living. Archaeologist. I'm quite good at it. Until my last case, my evidence put the wrong man behind bars. I'm out here to solve a cold case. Make what I did right. Come on, there's not much daylight left. Well, I don't know why he was convicted if there was reasonable doubt. So, Sarah, I'm going to have to say you're a, uh, a bad practicer of the law. No offense, but I suppose if it clears an innocent man, we'll help you out in these fabled woods. All right, let's let's trigger maybe one more memory and then call it. We don't want to go too far in the story. Uh, like I said, it's available on Steam today, so check it out if this intrigues you, like it intrigues me. Very sunny. Not so much as soon as I said that. And who knows? Is the sun moving that quickly? What the hell's going on? Alright, there could be a tornado on the horizon, but we're the gonna first go. Place I dug. Being an archaeologist, you learn over time to never expect anything on your first attempt. It's like waving a magnet at a haystack in the vague hope you'll find a needle, but you have to start somewhere, and for me, this was it. I didn't find much, although it was nice to rule out the area. That's true. Even if you fail to find something, you know it's something's not there anymore, or was. So, you're still making progress towards your goal. Good job, Sarah. Uh-oh. Okay. I spent a lot of time here. More than I did at home, I guess. Yeah, do you know a Hank? Private Detective P. Jack. Detective Sarah. Marcel. Mark. Larry. There it is. I don't know how to open any of those or anything. 
Alright, can't touch anything here. Private detect private detective. Alright, it's like one of those nineteen sixties private detectives. Who do we got here? Tim. There you go. Tim needs looking into, that's what I've always said. Alright, this is empty. Empty. Hello. Thank you. Right, anything in any of these? Not really. Because all your files are out here, Sarah. Why do you think they would be? Anyway, turn this on. We've got an open file here. First case, an adolescent homicide. Sometimes it's easier to use the official wording than to say outright someone killed a kid and left their body on a roof. I spent so many yeah, hours in up. that chair trying to figure it out. Is that the door? Why is everybody smoking? Oh god, here's another door. Wait a minute. This is... This is our office again. There's Larry over here, yeah. The heck? How I found out I put the wrong man in prison. The DNA didn't match, but that didn't matter. He's already behind bars, and our justice system is not about to make itself look bad. Mm -hmm. My superiors look at me with disappointment. They know what I did, and that there's nothing that can be done. Hmm. Oops. Alright. So she found potentially non-human bones, and uh, it's a big problem. Definitely. So here's where we... What the hell? Who did this? It's my weird. office, all my things, it's my ransacked. papers, my files, ah, years of my life are in here. All my cases, everything I ever worked on, all scattered and messed up. Who would do this? And why? World's best boss. Oh my god, Michael Scott came in here and ruined everything. Alright, we can't read that. I am terribly sorry. Yeah, it's too late for sorries, Sarah. All right, let's see what's out. So many pieces. The heck? Sometimes it's only when you step back and take a look at the whole tableau that you can make sense of where each individual fragment belongs. Tableau. What it all means. But you, I could never make sense of you. And now this? How dare you? Okay, I guess we're doing another walk here in the distance. Game's starting to frick with you, with your mind, and that's always a good thing. I'd say. Here's an axe. And we're back. And, oh, we're on the other side of the... Because the, we were there with the red axe. We walked through a couple offices and we ended up here. Alright. Pretty interesting. And um, you know what? I'd say that's probably it for the first impressions. Definitely intriguing. Definitely kind of got a mystery, horror-like feel. And you know what? I like this a lot. So if you like it a lot too, check it out on Steam right now. It's available. You get the game, the art book, and uh, the soundtrack. So it's a pretty good deal. Check it out on Steam. If you're interested, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Please leave a dislike if you hated it. That's fine. Tell your friends, your mother, everybody uh, about Northern Gaming. We'd love to, you know, have them watch our videos and entertain them every day. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Check out our other first impressions. We do looks at other recently released games, etc. and stuff like that. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being you. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. And a merry Easter? <laughs>